as jobs form in December, leaders from North Dakota, South Dakota, and Minnesota are putting their heads together to try and turn around the economy and create jobs. Today at NDSCS in Wapaton, the USDA Rural Development and Farm Service Agency put on a public forum to brainstorm ideas and hear from the public. WDAY6 reporter Christina Vaughn has the story. During the past year, the economy has taken a major hit, but the tri-state area has weathered the storm. Because of our strong egg and energy uh, uh, industries, but uh, you know we're not immune from the national economy as well. Which is what brings this group together today, talking about the possibilities we have in the area to create long-lasting job opportunities. I don't think anybody's going to be happy about things until people are, are back to work and our unemployment numbers come down dramatically. In the open forum setting, each person on the panel has time Time to talk about their industry and share stories. They work in fields like banking, health care, and renewable energy. What's working in their economies? Where is their job growth? Where are their real challenges? People in the audience also had a chance to share their opinions and ideas. You know, I don't think there's a, a silver bullet or a magic answer that uh, can solve all these problems. The idea is to get people talking um, and find out if there's if there's something that uh, maybe we're missing. Organizers say it's important to work together because in these times, anything can happen. When the economy's tough, sometimes you have your greatest opportunities um, because People think outside the box. People think of different ways to do things. All of the comments from today's forum discussion are being recorded, then sent off in an email to President Obama's desk tonight. In Wapiton, Christina Vaughn, WDAY 6 News. The USDA is setting up a blog for people who weren't able to make it today. You can visit usda.gov backslash blog to give your ideas and opinions. A Fargo woman is making history as the first female to go from the sheriff's reserve.